Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today we have something very interesting, a mid-range smartphone, which I think is really, really good. Uh, it is the Motorola G54. Uh, it comes with a dual camera. It comes with 120 hertz of uh, refresh rate on your display. The battery life is excellent. So let's have a look at it. And uh, I'm going to run some tests on it. I'm going to review the device. So it's going to be an exciting uh, video. Uh, stick out till the end and uh, let's jump right in. Just before we jump right in, do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon and don't forget to like the video. It really helps the channel grow. Now let's jump into the video. So this is the Moto G54 and at the back you have got this dual camera setup with this nice looking color uh, with a kind of a matte structure to it. Uh, the display is a 6.5 inch, uh, it's an IPS LCD panel which is at 120 hertz. On the top you have got this nice uh, Dolby Atmos branding which is there, uh, which is kind of interesting and my camera is unable to pick it up, but uh, that's, that's there. Apart from that, uh, you do not have much, but yes, you do have a headphone jack and a USB type C at the bottom, which is interesting. Uh, but I really like this color which is there of the phone. Uh, it's pretty good. It comes in two other colors as well. So if you are into those two, maybe you can go and pick that up. But at this price point of 14,000, uh, which is which which is the starting point, I think this phone packs a lot of features. So uh, it's very interesting. Now let's let's look at the phone. Let's start with the display. So the display is a 6.5 inch IPS LCD. Uh, it is a 120 hertz display, so it's extremely smooth. You can even choose from 120, 90 and 60. But why would you want to do that? You've got a good battery life, so why not use it at 120 hertz? So it's pretty smooth, very fluid. Uh, the only challenge which I feel is that it is stuck at 1080p, uh, which, is, which, is, which is okay. At this price point, I think it's pretty okay. So I brought up this uh, sunset picture and you can see the colors are pretty punchy. You get really good vibrant colors. Uh, you can even change the display mode. So that's there. Uh, that is what I like about Motorola. Uh, they do a little bit of tweaking on top of uh, uh, vanilla Android, which is good. Uh, so you have these very, very fine tweaks, uh, which are which are pretty helpful. Now things over here get very exciting because uh, as I said, Motorola has put a skin above Android so there are a few tweaks which are very very interesting like obviously you have uh, your uh, refresh rate which you can control but you can also set it to auto which will then in turn save your battery life you also have functions like uh, you know a split screen which I, I'll just show you so you can just swipe and you can split the apps you can run two apps into uh, uh, into a single screen which is very good Apart from that, uh, many, many phones have this that you can choose the color of the screen, whether you want it natural, saturated, like I've kept it on saturated, the screen looks much more whiter and better. So all these functions come to your uh, disposal when you go into the display settings. Now, since we are on the battery part, let's look at the battery as well. So this is a 6000 mAh battery uh, with a 1080p screen uh, and obviously 120 hertz, but 6000 mAh battery now this phone will last for two days at least and if you see over here with 62 percent remaining the phone still is showing and going into the next day uh, so yes uh, there are a lot of other features also like optimized charging you have all of that coming into the picture uh, to save your battery life uh, it has got adaptive charging as well so yes this is really really very interesting so concentration on uh, the display as well as the battery life is really making this phone uh, extremely good for uh, you know an average person who is looking for a phone which can uh, really really be there for them so it also comes with overcharge protection then you have you can also toggle each and every app into the adaptive battery now that is a normal uh, android function but yes uh, I thought let me include that as well over here. So the battery life is very good uh, and you know coming from uh, an iPhone looking at you know the battery life going into the next day is pretty interesting. 
this phone which is a 256 GB with a 12 GB of RAM is very interesting because now you can you can obviously do a RAM boost and increase the RAM wherever you actually need it in some demanding applications or games so that's there and that all of that is there under performance and you can see 12 GB of RAM is there I've kept the RAM boost off right now because I don't need it but maybe going down uh, if I'm if I'm going to play some heavy games then this phone can do RAM boost as well and if I talk about the software it is running uh, Android 13 uh, which is kind of sad because Android 14 is out since October now and uh, it should have gotten updated but yes over the course maybe it will start getting updated to Android 14 which will be interesting so in continuation with the RAM part and the processor we are looking at a good uh, 12 GB of RAM which we already spoke about but the chipset is a MediaTek uh, Dim Dimensity 7020 which is a good chipset uh, it comes at an octa core and but is the performance good uh, see at this price point I would not look at heavy performance yes the RAM is really good but the apps also open pretty well uh, they open pretty fast there is not much of a problem Motorola also has all these uh, you know kinds of bells and whistles on top of their uh, software which is like uh, Dolby Atmos which we saw uh, the branding also on the phone on the top of the phone so all of that also is there so it fills in for the you know extreme performance which you are looking for I am looking at a, a phone which is a 15,000 rupee phone which can actually now compete with uh, the flagships which is uh, very interesting now if, if you look at you know normal apps I'm not going to get into heavy apps right now but yes if you look at day-to-day -day apps you know uh, like uh, you know the calling function a little bit of emailing uh, you know going to YouTube and all of that you will you will notice that the phone is pretty fast so it is good overall now the, with the volume on full and my video in the background let's listen to the speakers and this car is very interesting so let's have a look at it so yeah this is the Reno Quid and it comes with front DRL uh, lights with halogen uh, uh, you know uh, high beam and low beam which is okay uh, the tires are pretty interesting they have got a nice hub cap kind of a design but they are alloys uh, you have this nice orange and black uh, two-tone with a climber badging which is the model and you've got white colored uh, side mirrors uh, which are pretty interesting you have roof rails as well uh, which are not operational but they give a good look to the entire design there is a little bit of chrome at the back as well and overall uh, the lights are also LED uh, behind uh, as in so the speakers according to me are good let me know down in the comment section if you uh, noticed anything but uh, for me it is more uh, on the treble side rather than the busy side but uh, I really like how it is overall now let's let's go into the main feature and I kept this uh, for the last part and this is the camera now the camera is particularly interesting because it comes with a 50 megapixel uh, normal camera which is your wide and a 8 megapixel ultra wide camera the only downside about this is that it uh, video uh, videos only till 1080p at 30 fps uh, which in 2023 2024 uh, it's kind of sad that uh, you know the phones do not do 4k but that's more or less it on the front side you have a 16 megapixel wide uh, again at uh, 1080p 30 fps so now diving into the camera app obviously you have a lot of features uh, inbuilt uh, like you have manual mode you have uh, macro mode which is which is particularly interesting um, obviously I have clicked a few photographs also uh, which uh, I will uh, showcase in the latter part of the video but overall if you see uh, it's a pretty comprehensive uh, camera app which is now available uh, with this phone at this price point and it is very interesting to see that uh, you know Motorola has pa packed a lot of features uh, in this kind of a setup which is nice you know uh, at this price point you get a very versatile camera and I would not say the camera is uh, one of the best out there but uh, 
it is pretty decent you will not be uh, you know at the back saying that you know my camera is not that good uh, it is pretty decent you also have features uh, of uh, you know like google lens and all of that coming into the picture you can choose your uh, formats you can do all of that so yes uh, you can tinker a lot with the camera app of the motorola g54 now let's look at the pictures and uh, let's get to the final verdict of this phone so this is the wide um, and if you see it's caught up everything very well uh, the colors are on point uh, if you look at the camera through which i shot it and from this camera it has got the colors quite white uh, quite uh, bright but yes uh, at the same time uh, this is a very well lit uh, i could say subject which i which i'm clicking but yes that's there the ultra wide is good uh, there is no fish eye uh, kind of a feeling which is there so the lens correction is pretty good and now let's look at the macro uh, i have uh, tried to get very close to what i was clicking but uh, the macro is not that great if i compare it to the flagships but again at this price point it is pretty good so these were the samples which i which i clicked now with this uh, we are at the end of the video i think the moto g54 is a good phone to buy at a price point which is very very reasonable and it can really really take on uh, a lot of flagships which are out there uh, maybe not win but at least maybe come uh, you know third runner up or second runner up which is which is very good according to me so yes with this uh, thanks for watching and do let me know down in the comment section if you want to know anything more about this phone or its competitors and i will be here to answer your queries and as usual thanks for watching